Okay, yeah, so I panicked because something really weird was happening. I mean, I'm not used to something changing like that and so quickly. What am I talking about? I experienced a teal color in my fire cider. What's up with that? Okay, so what I thought was maybe it was some sort of mold because we live in East Texas and things are kind of humid and we tend to have mold. But I thought it was weird because the discoloration was the size of a quarter or bigger and it was under the level of the, the vinegar, the apple cider vinegar, which seemed kind of contradictory to have mold in the apple cider vinegar, but you know, weird things happen. Mm. So I called my parents and I should have Googled it first, but instead I kind of did a knee jerk reaction and went ahead and pulled out the section that was that teal blue color. And I had realized that it was all garlic. So after I did that and made it safe, um, I went on to Google and checked and sure enough, mm. I shouldn't have panicked because there was nothing wrong with it. So if you've ever experienced garlic turning a teal or a blue or maybe even a greenish color, it's perfectly natural and it's safe. Well, that is if you had garlic mixed with an acid such as vinegar. So why does this happen? Well, I had to look it up and I don't have it memorized, so I'm gonna kind of read it off of here. But essentially, garlic, cloves or garlic bulbs have some compounds in it called alan and alanase and normally these compounds are separate within the garlic but whenever you chop or mince the garlic these two compounds combine and they create allicin which is an organo uh, sulfate sorry organosulfate okay. that it gives helpful benefits so it's a great thing you want it to combine in fact when you're wanting to use garlic medicinally you want to chop or mince it let it sit from five to ten minutes and then ingest it because you need that allicin production to give the healthful benefits that you're looking for however Whenever you chop garlic and add an acid, such as apple cider vinegar, either whether you're cooking it or fermenting with it, that allicin then combines or reacts with amino acids also within the garlic. So why don't they normally happen? Well, it's only in the presence of the acid that the allicin reacts with those amino acids. And it creates carbon nitrogen rings called pyroles and whenever multiple of these pyroles connect together it's polypyroles which would be many pyroles and those throw colors so whenever you have four pyroles that connect to each other it creates the color green when you have three pyroles that connect together then it makes the color blue so i thought that was pretty interesting and in fact the Chinese will use it during their New Year celebration, their Chinese New Year celebration. So it's actually sought after. And one of the websites that I read said that they will um, typically try to use older garlic because older garlic tends to throw those colors more than fresh garlic. Who knew? I sure didn't. I hope you learned something new. I hope y'all have a blessed day and we will see you next time here at Cooker Hooked. Woo, try that again. We will see you next time here at Cooker Hooked. God bless.